Hey guys, got a video for you today. Something that just came up uh, was on my mind. I was coming out here to the porch to put on some, uh, some hamburgers and I just thought I'd shoot this little video. It's not fishing related, it's not keys related. It is cooking related. And uh, you guys that know me know I love to cook. Got a video today for you about the Traeger pellet grill. I wanna tell you the pros and the cons and what I really think of it. I've owned one now for about three or four months and I wanna share with you what I think about the Traeger pellet grill. Should you buy one or should you not? I'll let you know. All right, guys, got my burgers ready to go there. Laurie and I are just having some burgers tonight. And I've got my Traeger fired up. I think I'm around 350, had it set for 350. I'm about 340 right now. Gonna put my burgers on here. Got them on there, all right. All right, guys, so uh, this is my uh, little Traeger pellet grill. I bought it down at Home Depot. I actually found it on a half price clearance uh, right before New Year's and picked it up for $3.99. I think they run about $6.99. And right now, I think at Home Depot, you can pick them up for $5.99. And it's got the uh, upgraded controller on it down here where you actually get two meat probes. I didn't get that one with this one. But before I tell you about this grill, uh, let me just tell you a little bit about my background as it relates to uh, barbecue and smoking. Uh, Laurie and I used to own a uh, barbecue business. We had a 30 foot barbecue trailer with an 1100 pound uh, smoker on the back of it. It was a stick burner smoker. Uh, we cooked a lot of barbecue. We would do sometimes 30 butts at a time and do two runs of those in a couple of days. Do festivals and uh, different events where we would serve barbecue to people. Um, back home in Georgia, I've got uh, probably one of the most expensive, probably one of the best pellet grills you can own, which is the uh, Fast Eddie's FEC 120. That's about a $6,000 uh, pellet smoker. And it works the exact same way as this, this Traeger does. And uh, the reason I'm telling you that is because some of you guys that are watching this might wonder, well, heck man, you know, what do you know about pellet grills and, and why should I listen to what you say on this Traeger? Well, hopefully we've got enough experience with a bunch of different smokers and cookers that uh, I'll give you some things that maybe you can really use. Um, there's a couple things that I've found out about my Traeger since I've owned it that, um, you know, that I'm happy with and a few things that I'm not so happy with. Um, one of the things that I'm super happy with is the Traeger really puts a lot of flavor on the meats that you cook. A lot of pellet grills, um, take for instance my FEC 120 I've got back home, it, you know, that's, that's a top of the line commercial restaurant grade smoker. But the one problem that I, I had with it most of the time was that um, when I would smoke Boston butts or things like that on it, it really didn't put that much uh, smoke flavor in the food. And the reason it doesn't is because it's so efficient. It burns the pellets really efficiently. It doesn't burn a lot of pellets. And therefore you don't end up with a lot of smoke on the meat. And sometimes, you know, that's just not what you're looking for. When I would cook my barbecue and I try to do it on the Fast Eddie back home, not enough smoke flavor, the barbecue didn't come out right, and really and truly I wasn't pleased with the way the, the smoker cooked. Uh, I found a workaround for that, and it was using a smoke tube, everything was fixed by that, got that worked out. Now how does that relate to this Traeger that I'm talking about? Well, what the Traeger is, is highly inefficient, meaning you're gonna run through a buttload of pellets with this thing. It burns pellets like crazy. Um, the bad news is you're buying pellets, so find you a good deal on pellets if you're going to get one of these Traeger pellet grills. They are not efficient. If you're looking for good flavor, here's the good news about that. The more pellets the unit has to use to keep the temperatures up where you want it, the more smoke that you're going to get out of the unit, and this Traeger does that exceptionally well. I can cook my Boston Butts on this unit. Uh, almost as good as I could on my big, uh, you know, barbecue trailer with a stick burner. Almost as good. Not quite as good, but very close. And for the, you know, $500 that I gave for this little grill, I can throw a couple Boston butts on there, maybe three. And the results are really, really good. I'm really pleased with that. I'm going to spend more money on pellets, but, you know, it, it does cook very good and it's got a really good flavor to it.
So this was a base model unit. I think it's the cheapest pellet grill that, that Traeger sells that I'm aware of. Uh, there may be some smaller ones, but I'm not sure. It doesn't have all the fancy features. It doesn't have Bluetooth. It is just a base model Traeger pellet smoker. Um, cool thing is it does get pretty hot. I can get this up to about 450 degrees, and if I'm uh, grilling on it versus barbecuing on it, I like that a lot because I can get that temperature up there pretty good and hot for most things, and um, I don't have worry about flame ups or anything like that. It really does well, especially like right now I'm cooking hamburgers, and I'm cooking around 350 or so. I think right now it's sitting at about 330. I'm probably going to turn it up a little bit, but I'm cooking these burgers a little slower. But the bottom line is I get a good smoke flavor. I get a good char on the or, or grill marks on the burgers, and um, it, it, it does that just as well as it does low and slow um, smoking. So I like it for that reason. If you're not familiar with pellet smokers, it's got this hopper in here where you uh, put all your pellets. I think this hopper is supposed to hold somewhere around 20 pounds of pellets, which is a typical bag. And uh, it'll last you a good while with that. If I'm doing a super long smoke, like an eight to 10 hour smoke, I would fill this up and it would use most of it. So you can count on that if you're doing a super long smoke. Now the lower the temperature is, the less pellets it uses. The higher the temperature is, the more pellets you're gonna use. But you put your pellets in here, and they kinda of look like, uh, like rabbit food if you haven't used a pellet grill before. But uh, kinda of look like rabbit food. And you put them in there and it uses an auger, pulls them through into a heat pan inside the grill and creates the heat. Uh, there's no actual flame except for in a little cup underneath everything and that just generates the heat. So down here you've got your temperature settings. You can set it all the way up to high and I get about 425 to 450 on high and then you got your increments all the way down. All the way down to a smoke level which typically runs around 180 to 190 degrees on smoke right here. Even though I know it says 180s right there, I find if I put it on smoke I don't know if it's a different setting uh, higher than this, but it'll go between 180 and 190 on the smoke setting and it'll really smoke a lot uh, at that setting. So let's get down to the point here. Why do I like it? Um, I've got a lot better smokers. I've got a lot better grills. Um, one of my favorite things to cook on in the world is the large green egg. I just love the, the big green egg. It cooks everything wonderfully. That's back home in Georgia. I bought this unit when we moved down here to the Keys just to have something that I could do things on. And I gotta be honest, I'm pleasantly surprised. The biggest asset that I've seen in this Traeger so far is it just really cooks well and makes the food taste excellent. It puts the smoke in there like I want it. You know, why do you buy one of these things? Well, that's why. I don't think this one's gonna hold up a tremendous long time. I think it would probably last about as long as any other grill would. And, um, you know, it's not a high price unit. It's not really all that well built. But what it does do extremely well is it cooks exceptionally well. It puts great flavor on the meat. And for that reason, I recommend it. I like it. The price point is not bad on it. And um, I, I definitely have been real pleased with this Traeger grill. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. It's almost time for me to get my hamburgers off the grill. So we'll get Laurie and I are gonna go in here and eat us some dinner. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel. We'll see you next time on Gables on the Go. See ya.